Three, two, one, go. I should probably do a separate tutorial just on this. So if I want to make this one is 716K, that's how we can get all this fine detail. But if we don't want that big a size of a coin, then here's what you do. So I have my coin X here. So this is just my coin that I did everything on both sides. It's looking good. So all, all you have to do is clone this. So now I have coin X and coin X1. So I'm going to go to coin X and I'm going to hide coin X1 because like that way we don't get confused. So all we did was make a clone of whatever it is that you want to make smaller. Then we go to uh, decimate. So all we did was make a copy. We have coin X. Go to this option here. So we have, you know, uh, deci UV. So we just want to decimate and that just like brings the file sizes down. So this is our coin, it's 716K. Uh, the scene is 2 million, which is a lot. It's a butt ton. That's the technical term, term for it. So we want to decimate it. So here's my decimation options. You can play around with them if you want, but these are my options. Decimate once goes to 358K. Decimate again. Now we're down to 22 and you see a lot of this detail is sort of lost, but that's okay. So let's go down again to 11.1. .1. So you see, we continue to kind of lose detail. Um, and now we're at 700. So we've lost all that detail, but remember we we duplicated it. So we have a copy, we have a high res copy. So coin X, coin X one. So in the same in the same window down here you have a UV auto unwrap. So that's going to like unwrap this skin, kind of like wrapping paper. So that's going to unwrap this. So we do that and have you have some weird thing back here now. So that's this unwrapped. So now we can wrap it again, but we can wrap it with the high res one. So it's like we took off the ugly wrapping paper and now we're going to wrap it with like the nice clean high res one. So it's in the same spot. You go down to texture baking from high res coin X1. So is, yours is going to be down here or it's going to be like 10 something. Um, but I always raise mine to the highest it can go. And then you just hit from, from high res coin X1. So that's the one, that's the high res version. So we just tap it. Boom. It's going to think. It's going to do its thing. And then... Now we have this. So now this texture and everything is baked on this low res one. This one is still 701. And let's look at the original. So this is the original now. Let's move it over. So this is the difference. So you can see that it's like, I mean, you can't even really see the differences. Sometimes if you decimate too much, you know, like you can't decimate too much. Like if I would have pressed it a couple more times, it wouldn't be able to get all the detail back. But I would say that that's pretty dang good. You know, it's got a lot of detail. This one, 716K. This one, 701. So it's a huge difference. So now I'm just going to get rid of the big one because we don't need it anymore. Um, and yeah, so this is the one. Let's turn UV off. So now that we have this, this is the one that I'll use. Like if I want to make a stack of coins, then it's easier to, I don't even know how I would do that. I guess I would just use uh, add, um, curve, I could do curve, I guess. And then I go to my curve options and just do this. And let's say I validate, but I want to uninstance. So now we have this, it's blue, but we have all our coins here. So we can just like, you know, if you want to like offset them a little bit, you can just tap on the coin and just kind of, you know, you can kind of offset them kind of like that. 
And the, and the great thing about it is that all of this together, let me make sure I have all of them, all of them together are only, well, I don't know how much they are, whatever 700 times eight is or whatever. So not, not that much, not that many, but you definitely don't want to do this if they're like really high. Like if each one was 20 K, it'd be crazy. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I think I might split this into two videos, just the baking and then the adding the texture and the baking. So, uh, make sure you go check out the other video too. If you want to see how I got to the coin, um, you want to see how I made this as a stamp and stuff. All right. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Let's see what this looks like. I didn't even really look at this. I saw like on one of my other, one of the other 3D sites, someone made this like in Blender. So I was like, let me make it in Nomad. You know me. Oh, this will be good for the, uh, it actually looks better. The gold looks better with, um, and I can, and I still have a couple, I still have a couple lights to spare. So I'll add some more lights to it. But that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're really serious about learning, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes. Just go to my website, drugfreedave.com. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.